Amid the collapse in Bitcoin and a range of other cryptocurrencies, our next guest is drawing comparisons to the dot-com bubble, and we all know how that played out. Let's bring in Jessica Inskip, the head of product and education at Options Play. Jessica, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Frank. All right, you're drawing some comparisons that are a little scary for anybody that's invested in cryptocurrencies. So I got to ask you, what are the charts telling you about where we're at? I think the big question everybody has, are we at the bottom? Could this be the bottom? Yeah, I think that's an interesting question and something that we can revisit history to understand if we're at a bottom and what will survive from this. So um, revisiting the dot-com bu bubble, if you'll notice on the chart, there were a lot of IPOs that were listed on the NASDAQ. There was overhype. So there was an influx of demand causing prices to go up. And then once there were insolvencies and IPOs really fell off, we, we got into the dot-com bubble. Now, things that survived from this are actually companies that we're all really used to today, which is Amazon, um, Qualcomm, Microsoft is of note, and even Apple. So what's really important about taking a lesson from the dot-com bubble is everything fell in this type of scenario. There was a lot of influx saturating the market, and there was a lot of difficulties finding valuation within those securities because it was a, dis a disruptor, it's innovation to technology. So that's the takeaway from this, is things that survived the dot-com bubble had a clear product roadmap, had a clear set to innovation or, or to positive revenues, right. and that allowed them to be to be positive and, and come out of it All right, so really that, well. That seems like a pretty clear roadmap of where you should go with your cryptocurrency investing. Um, but obviously, cryptocurrency is just a bit of a different industry. So when we're looking at coins to invest in, if you're an investor, what is the equivalent when it comes to cryptocurrency to what you were just saying about an Apple, a Qualcomm, or an Amazon? Yeah, so, so if you take a look at the chart of Bitcoin, um, and then you can see all of the cryptos on a yearly basis that have come into the market, it starts with very little, and now we're up to 20,000. And what's really interesting is Bitcoin started with about 90% of market share, and it's at 43% now. Um, so anything with a large market cap and clear management and um understanding that the roadmaps that are there, it's difficult to assess valuation just like it was in the dot-com bubble. However, market cap and dominance in an industry can certainly give us an insight. And additionally, what was needed in the dot-com bubble was, was regulation. So things like the collapse of Luna sets the path forward for regulation. And once that comes out, then that increases investor confidence, in which case we'll see an increase of demand instead of that saturated supply that we have now, which would then send the security up. But there's a, some steps that have to happen to really boost investor confidence. So you're saying there's a chance of a rally. I think a lot of people wanted to hear that, Jessica. Thanks a lot for being here. We appreciate the insight.